carefully. Now that I have twice as many hostages, I want twice the ransom. I want it in 24 hours. You're not gonna get rid of me that... They're gone. I really blew it this time. Who asked you to help? If you just kept out of it, I'd have my daughter back now. I don't think he would have released her, even if we... Oh, so now you're a mind reader, too? For all I know, you might be working with that lunatic. I used to defend you against Jonah. Told him the city was better off because of you. Maybe I was wrong. Coming from Robbie, that hurt. More than anything Octavius' tentacles could do to me. The worst part is, they may be right. Listen to me, sinking into self-pity. Oh, that's not gonna get them back. And if Spidey can't do it... Maybe Peter Parker can. This video just arrived. Oh! Felicia, what's he done to you? Time's running out. I'll be calling you at 10 o'clock. Two minutes from now. Robbie, I have to talk to you. Not now, Peter. We're... It's about Dr. Octopus. Listen, kid, we don't have time. You don't understand. I know him. He was my teacher. We're professionals. We know how to deal with these situations. But I think I know how to get to him. No, no, wait. Let's hear him out. We're tampering with the most important thing in Octavius's life. Science. Unless we understand that, Felicia and Mr. Jameson will be... Let me talk to him. Hello, Dr. Octavius? Uh, this is Peter Parker. I, I was one of your students years ago at science camp. Mm. Parker? Well, you probably don't remember me, but you taught me how important science is. I've read every paper you've published. Uh, sustained fusion fission reactions? Neurochemical fusion? What about fusion potential of the super collider? You never wrote that. You were testing me, weren't you? And you passed. Do you know about my cold fusion battery? Of course. I'd give anything to see that battery. Then you're the perfect one to bring me the ransom. And after that, I'll show it to you. Usually it's the spider that traps the fly, not the octopus that traps the spider. An abandoned rocket assembly plant. What a perfect hideout for a loony scientist. Peter! Parker! Don't worry. Everything's going to be okay. I'll believe that when I see it. Is that the money? Let me show you the purpose this will serve. What about Felicia and Mr. Jameson? Then they can hang around for a while. Fusion energy. Billions of kilowatts. Enough power to lift mankind from the depths of poverty. And the power I will control. Think of it. A battery only twice the size of this could replace a dozen nuclear power plants. Well, yes. But when you exceed this size, it becomes unstable. The last time it... You're right, Mr. Parker. It blew up. But there was a dividend. The explosion that destroyed my laboratory also welded these arms to my spine. A neurologically augmented exoskeleton. It responds to my thoughts. A melding of metal to flesh and bone. Incredible! Reminds me of Flash Thompson. All hands. They let me do my work four times as fast. And they are the greatest weapons imaginable. Dr. Octavius, you've been paid. Now release Felicia and Mr. Jameson. Release them? Don't insult my intelligence. But you've got your money. A good first installment. You promised to let them go. What? A broken promise? <laughs> Sound familiar? That's one of the perks of power, my student. Listen and learn. I'm no longer your student, and there's nothing more you can teach me. Oh, no? Peter! Even Parker didn't deserve that. Uh, you... you heartless freak! Freak? I'm merely the victim of an accident. Anyone can have an accident. Don't touch her! Spider-Man! 
You're making a career of interference. Some career? No salary? No vacation? Don't talk about on-the-job health hazards. Clinging to walls won't help. My tentacles will turn you into a blood smear. I've got to find a way to immobilize at least some of those arms. A dynamo. Dynamos make electricity by spinning a coil between the poles of either a magnet or an electromagnet. What's the matter, Doc? You stuck on that dynamo's magnet? You lame brain! You started the assembly test line! When the rocket engine comes overhead, it'll fire on top of us! Double jeopardy, Spider-Man. If you manage to turn off the dynamo, you'll face the full fury of Dr. Octopus. And if you don't, perhaps you'll live long enough to see your friend's molecules fry. Well, that's what I love about life. Choices. I'm going as fast as I can, Miss Hardy. How does it feel to know that you could change things, Spider-Man? I'd be helpless to do so. About as bad as I'd feel if I had a name like Doc Ock. An electromagnet. If I can just find the controls. Let me give you a few last thoughts to contemplate before I put an end to your puny... I really hate to interrupt a megalomaniac when he's on a roll, but here's web in your eyes. Drop me! Come on! Perfect. Now, if I can just get Ock over here. You six-armed Neanderthal! Why don't you get over here and fight like an octopus? No fool am I, Spider-Man. I won't fall for the same trick twice. Besides, I can wait, unlike your friends. Spider-Man! Do something! Bactibus is right. I'll never get past him to shut off that dynamo. Unless... Get away from that. Tell you what. Let's make a trade. My friends, for your life's work. like a charm. This seems like a pretty good way. Oh, no. Peter! 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 Oh, boy. Oh, are you okay? Sure. Fine. Some date, huh? That's one way of putting it. You want to give it another try? Well, Parker, you have to understand something. I don't usually allow myself to be taken hostage on a first date. I respect that. Stone walls do not a prison make, nor iron bars a cage. Not against the genius of Dr. Octopus. <laughs> Ha 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 ha!